This is like very dramatic hold music I'm listening to here. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Mythgard Adventures. It's bingo night again. Uh, and uh, we are here in Cliving. And uh, uh, we're at the, goodness, what is it? Level 80, 82, 83 quests for bingo now? He is now deep into Rohan, having, uh, we, last time we did Bingo Night, we convinced him to get a horse, and we found that his horse likes apples, making the two of them uh, the perfect pair, because of course, as you'll remember from the very first chapter of Bingo, he hates apples. Um, but anyway, that's all good. Um, so here we are, and um, we're supposed to find the roots of a... Cons First of all, I want to apologize for being late. We're supposed to start at 9.30 and didn't... The primary reason I was late, by the way, is uh, I, it's completely my son's fault. I blame it on my children. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, like I had to pick him up from his, uh, his ski bus was totally late. So, you know, not my fault, but whatever. Was anyway, bus driver. well, you know, I don't know, but you know, when I find out, no, seriously, it was, I, I don't know. We were all sitting there waiting for the bus to come and, and I rushed back as soon as I could. So there we are. Here I am late, but we're here. And, um, by golly, we're not going to leave until we get to the bottom of this Thanks. So what's happening again? So we're in Cliving, and Bingo is telling us to search the town for signs of of the blood eye. What what's what's that about again? So there's it's it's a cult. Is that right? Like a religious cult? It's an ocular difficulty. An ocular difficulty, right? So we're looking for people suffering from a certain <laughs> facial disfiguration, <laughs> some kind of uh, uh, some kind of of awkward optic condition. Uh, but no, it's, is it, is it, is it, are they spies? Are they cultists? I don't even remember. This it's is a secret cult. It's a secret cult. Bad. Okay. It's a secret cult called the blood we eye. Don't know. Yes. We don't know. And it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's Eggwolf here who has, uh, clued us into this, right? The intrepid, yes. uh, uh, yes. Rohiric maiden whom we met yes. as soon as we had crossed the border there. Okay. All right. 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 Okay. So we were just about to decide how we were going to go about searching the town, and we had gotten as far as eliminating having other people just tell us the answer. So having eliminated that as a possibility, <laughs> how else would we like to go about searching? Egg Wilfen. By the way, I just want to point out for a minute, and you know, she's all monochromatic except this pop of color on her shield, right? A true ah. shield. Right? Oh, wow. Look at that. That is it. Oh, that is it. It matches my cloak. There's like a little well, red on the back. Red, red the cloak. That's true. Well, I, you might want to just kind of wander this direction. Just suggestion. <laughs> <Maybe>. Okay. <laughs> so you're not going to tell us you're just going to drop heavy hints? Are we going to play hot and cold <laughs> here in Cliving? In the, in the, yeah, I think it's... it's well, I'll just come stand over by this tent here. Getting warmer. I think we're getting warmer. <laughs> okay. Oh, Let's, oh a brooch with a red gem has been left on an out of the way log. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is extremely <laughs> subtle. Wait, wait. I see a I see a floating name above a patch of grass over here. I think we're on to something. <laughs> a blood eye brooch. Hang on, I wanna I wanna it's I wanna shiny. Too, right? I'm take a closer look at this here. Okay. It reminds us of the rock stone. I forget what the rock stone is. Does it? That was the. Remember the treasure hunters in the Lone Lands? Oh wow! Wow, uh, that was a the woman and the man. Yeah, I forget their names now. But it turned out she was really the boss. Right, and he was the imbecile, which was right. tolerably obvious right. from the beginning. But um. Yeah. Huge peacock feather hat or whatever that was. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. And that's where you get the linguist title, which is really cool. Yes. That's right. That's yeah, right. well, that was from the, all the riddles and stuff, right? When we were solving the riddles. Right. When we did the lowlands. Yeah. Theodore. But hang Theodore, on now. Right. Theodore Gorse, I think is his name. Right. Gorse. But I don't remember the Rothstone, nevertheless. So that was the treasure they were looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so I've clean forgotten this. It. Us yeah, you must have done right. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, Wigan has a better memory than I do for the Rothstone. It's a... <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, 
don't eat the squirrel, please. Okay. All right. So yes, yeah, Ming, don't eat the squirrel. Uh, let's have our cosmetic, oh, uh, pets and non-cosmetic pets play along. Um, all right. So all right. So was that? Oh, oh, oh wait, the that was it. So we just find just the brooch. Okay. Yeah. We yeah, we we, 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 we gotta bring it back over here. Okay. We shall bring the brooch, the blood eye brooch, to Egg Wolf. All right, Egg Wolf. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, so we hand her the brooch we discovered and tell her that it reminds you of the Rothstone, a similar piece of jewelry you encountered in your travels, on which which I will take on faith. And she nods. I do not know where the cult of the Blood Eye finds these treasures, but they prize red gems above all others and look for them exclusively. Still, I have found that the men who wear these brooches are not unwilling to leave them behind when they near capture. Without these identifiers, they become nearly invisible to my pursuit. Wait, meaning you can't tell them from other people, or meaning they actually vanish? <laughs> I guess it's just blending a blending-in thing, presumably. Not a crossing over to the wraith side kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It would, be, it would be a rather odd brooch anyway, which conferred invisibility on you when you took it off and left it behind. So that it's seems like a little... Exactly, right, right. Throw it away and you become invisible, right? How, how do you become <laughs> uninvisible again? To, uh, just wear brooches instead of black robes. Well, it would be the other way around, though. Like, it, you would... You... Oh, now I'm having Titanic flashbacks. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I see. We'll remember Titanic, but not the Rothstone. I see, that's fine. Um... <laughs> Okay, they use these gems as proofs of their allegiance. And without such proof as this, what orc will be willing to trust they are who they claim to be? Um, all right, so it's I, I missed the, but it is not a complete loss. Okay, so that's the upside. The upside of them losing their brooches is that they, uh, they cease to have an in with their orc allies. So one of the men I followed has been effectively declawed. As for the other, his trail has gone cold. What an odd kind of metaphor for her to use, wouldn't you say? Declawed? Yeah, the yeah. declawed metaphor. It's a little strange. Um, as for the other, his trail has gone cold. Uh, I would ask for your help and for Bingo's if you continue to offer it. Absolutely. I'll sign Bingo right up for that. Hey, Bingo, she needs more help. So you just <laughs> get right on that, my intrepid friend. I do not like the sound of this blood eye group. <laughs> right. Especially if its members are in leagues with orcs. Who would wish to ally themselves with such terrible creatures? I know that I would not. Not for anything. That's right. You are such a good guy, Bingo. I do not know if I can... Of course, you are the ally of Lynx's, but we'll try to overlook that misdemeanor. I do not know if I can be much help to Egg Wilf in this. After all, she is a skilled tracker and has followed these agents of the Blood Eye for what sounds like a long time. But we are adventurers, and if we can help her with her task, we definitely should do so. It is a pity that the trail has gone cold. Do you think she'll be able to pick it up again? If so, it may make for an exciting chapter in my account of our journey. I was wondering when you were going to get around to that, Bingo. <laughs> Okay. I am ready to help Abel once level again. Up? Well done. Oh. Nice. Who did we get there? Who leveled up? I did. Yeah. Woohoo. Awesome. Okay. I level seventy-eight. See, look at that. I'm, I'm taking the world by storm here. I am ready to help Egg Wolf find the other member of the Cult of the Blood Eye. If you are ready as well. Sure. Yep. No problem. She said it's gone cold, but perhaps she has found some clue that will steer us in the right direction. Well, that would be handy. Let's see what we can find here. Begin your search on the path that leads from the Norcrofts to Wildemore. Right. Okay. She's pleased that we're going to help. Okay, no problem. He would sell the kingdom to its enemies given the chance and he must pay for his treason. All right, I agree. I scattered ahead and found his trail leading west. He was making for the heights of Wildermore. You would do well to begin your search at the sloping path that leads from the Norcrofts into Wildermore. Uh, one more thing, the air is heavy with sorcery. I felt the chill in my bones as I approached. You can feel sorcery in your bones? That's kind of cool. Anyway, there's something unusual afoot in Wildermore. All right. Yeah, I think there's a... Path. I discovered this when I was doing this. I didn't realize it when I was here before. I think there's a path if we go to the other end of Cliving. Um, 
Let us hurry to Wildemore and put an end to his villainy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That blood eye cultist won't be able to evade us. Okay. All so right. when is Bingo going to send us to drown the cultists in blood or <laughs> have a slaughter? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yes. Slay them all. I'm just waiting for Bingo to give an impassioned speech where he's like, leave not one of them alive. Not one shall be... Like she knows where she's going. Okay. All right, Bingo will probably it's have us... It's been a while, but I do... And then withhold the eggs. <laughs> withhold the eggs. Withhold the eggs. <laughs> Deny them bacon. Have no mercy. <laughs> oh. Only five meals a day. <laughs> That's right. We'll out some really dirty pans. <laughs> That's right. I shall cease to do their dishes for them. Okay. That's right. That's right. That was what he did in, uh, in Stangard, huh? That's right. <laughs> Who we got behind us? We got somebody. Me. I'm kind of wagging, oh, wagging by here. <laughs> Keep in mind, I've never. You have a new computer now. You're not supposed to run into walls every. I know. I. It just. It's sadly. It's got. It's robbed me of my excuses now. You know. I can't be like. Oh yeah. Sorry. This darn lag. I don't know what to do about it. You know. No. Really, my problem is. I'm because I'm running through places I've never been before. So I keep uh, running into walls because I'm not watching where I'm going at all. Like right now, I'm like. Look at the overhang. That looks really beautiful. I don't even know which... Oh, wait. Where are you guys? You're up here. Okay. There you are. No problem. Oh, there's there's Bingo. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at this skilled tracker scouring the ground. He still has those sausages on his pack. That's really... Those sausages have put some serious miles on him. Well, maybe they got softened up in the river in uh, Khazad-dum there. They maybe... <laughs> you, you don't think that would improve them, Kay? <laughs> it's like when you've dethawed something and then you freeze it again and then you dethaw. Yeah. Yeah. Just... Bad things happen, according to science. It can't end well. Okay, I think the missing cultist came this way. All right, you heard some of the orcs talk. So you're, you're eavesdropping on orcs now. That's pretty That's pretty good. Uh, they were talking about a man with a red gem. They said they let him climb the road up into Wildermore. They didn't sound happy about it. And one of the orcs said they should have taken him prisoner instead and made a meal out of him. What a terrible oh, thought. Scott. Scott, I'm sorry. Scott. <laughs> leaving a path for us. Oh, I see. Here we are. Okay. Uh, you didn't think it would work with anyone? Uh, oh, hang on a second. Uh, I suppose they must be allies, but if they let him pass, I do not think they would work with it. That would work with anything, anyone. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. I'm not following your syntax here, Bingo. But I do not think I would work with anyone I needed to worry about around dinner time. Oh, I see. So you would not take the orcs as allies. Got it. All right. So, boy, it took me a long time to parse that sentence. Okay. Off I go. Gosh, this is a quiet path. <laughs> it's always been that way. It's amazing. It's surprising, isn't it? I would have expected the... I, I, I sound like Bingo. I would have expected the path to Wildemore to be more dangerous. But here, it, it's... I just have to walk right up it. <laughs> this adventuring... Talking about Bingo? <laughs> this adventuring yeah. thing is quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is a very specific little tip here that we're supposed to search all of Wildermore. Search yeah. Wildermore for the missing agent of the Blood Eye. Yep, so just in case searching the town wasn't good enough, uh, now we just have to oh, search. I thought we got a. Ooh. Some very mounted enemies. Sorry, I'm looking for the oh. mounted enemies. Slayer of Mount. There was one around us. Oh. I think he's dead now. Yes, I I seem to have been informed that he died. I was just uh, I was just admiring the map. I always like I'm always entranced when I go to a new area that I've never seen before. I just like I love the maps. Okay, so we're in I'm the really Fallows. Sad to hear that they're never gonna do these maps again. What? They just don't have the artists. What do you mean? Uh, oh, they're not. Oh. 
they just like whoever did it doesn't work there anymore. They were talking about on the oh, cord of the stream. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah, they sure are. I love the I love these maps. Okay, um, so here we are uh, in Wildemore. Um, I'm looking. Let's see. I see a buffalo. Should I interrogate him? Well, I know we have to eventually have been but it seemed like there was something before Forla. I see a baby buffalo. Should I interrogate him? Definitely suspicious. Could it be a skillful whatever the maps or ancient letters? Yeah, I first. Don't, I can't remember. Can we go there for, I can't remember. Or it's just somewhere random in the zone. It seemed like to me oh, that wait, something... Oh, wait, hey, over here. Over here. There's something over here. Where? Oh. Where are you? Aha, I found a wounded farmer. A wounded farmer? Oh, I think I... I think I think I found the missing agent. <laughs> Wait, where is he? Where, where, is she, where are you? Like right, I'm right at the like cross. Uh, well, it's not really a. There's three roads that come together here. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. A bull is attacking someone right now, so. Let's see. Here. See, I knew there was something okay. suspicious about that bull. <laughs> oh, there he is! Look at that. There he is. Look at that with the with the ring and everything. Okay, so, um... I saw this man, he, he knocked me down, he stole my axe! No way! Stole your axe? That's terrible! <laughs> he jumped out from behind a rock and stole your axe! That is terrible! Okay, so now to his many other crimes, he's been, he's guilty of, what, treason? Right? Uh, alliance with orcs? And... Petty theft as well. Grand theft axe. Right? That's terrible. Uh, okay. You'll be fine in a moment. Except for the axe. Right. I twisted my ankle. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Well, let's catch him. Right. He's getting away. We, dude, we shall not away. Which way did he go? Did we get it? Get he it? said northeast. So I'm oh, did he? Okay. I missed that. That would have been an important point. Um <laughs> Close reading is your friend. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Close reading fail. Oh, dear. Uh, Just take several square miles and then meet back in a couple weeks. Yeah, exactly. That should be easy. Well, I'm following the road. Maybe it's this farm. Thrums Farm. Oh, that is so adorable. Is that a horse head made of thatch? Oh, come now. That is too precious. It is. It's actually formed of thatch. They've bound thatch together. They even made little ears for it. That is just the most adorable thing I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. I cannot handle the cuteness of the thatch horse head. I mean, who would do that? Thrum, apparently, is the answer, but... Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, wait. What are we looking for? <laughs> oh, that... An axe thief! That's right. There's... There's a... Wait, who's... Who's this guy? Does he look suspicious? Does he have an axe? He's cowering. There's a cowering uh, person over here. Found a ring over here. Oh, Yeah. I found a suspicious guy who's cowering, but he doesn't look like he stole anybody's axe. So, never can tell. Oh, here at this darling little homestead. Oh, a wounded orc. Oh, what did he get sto have stolen from him? Your man stole my plunder. He'll be dead before the sun comes up. What? Is that really the voice they used? I was going to say that the, the orc sounds like Bert Bartleby. Like, how did that happen? Does this mean does this mean that this orc is a friend of Bert Bartleby or that Bert Bartleby is in fact an orc in disguise? I, I'm kind of disturbed now. Um... Okay, 
if I wasn't already breathing my last dozen breaths, I'd make sure to take you with me into the darkness at the end. Oh, into the darkness at the end. Wow, a metaphysical claim by an orc. That is bold right there. So the orc believes that when he dies, he passes into darkness, which you've got to think, right, in an orc context has to be significant, right? Melkor is the lord of the dark. Think of, you know, like the Sauron's lines in Numenor, right? So that is a good thing? Going into the darkness? Probably? You'd think? Is, so is that like a statement of ontological? Like a, yeah, you think for an orc, that wouldn't be an issue. In fact, it'd be something that he, you know... Assuming, like, yeah, he's worshipping, ultimately worshipping Melkor, and Melkor is the lord of the dark... So is this a st- an, like an ontological statement of hope by the orc? Well, sorry, I'm drawing out his last dozen breaths, which is probably unkind. This cursed man attacked me with an axe. Oh, man, see? Wait, so hang on. The dude wasn't armed? Like the traitor had no weapons of his own? He had to steal the axe off the first peasant he met? Uh, anyway, uh, he was one of ours, he was. What a laugh that is. He had a strange look in his eye. Desperation, I think it was. Yeah, well, he knew Bingo was after him, so of course he was desperate. He stole my plunder. Oh, I had a bag of dirty coins. He will find no joy of them if he wants to spend them. Ooh, did you curse it? Did you lay your curse upon it as you lie, as you lay dying, wounded orc? That would be cool. No one in this thrice cursed land will take them from him. Is it just because they don't accept that currency or because there's something now horribly awry with that? With that. Let's, I know. Let's hope that this means that uh, some he's laid some baneful curse, baleful curse upon it, you know, so that uh, no one will ever take it from him and it will cause, you know, it, it, it'll be like the gold of, of, uh, of meme, you know, in the halls of, 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 of Minigroth there. Uh, anyway, he'll be dead before the sun comes up again. I will take that knowledge with me into the blackness, and it will send me off with a, sm- with a smile. <laughs> now leave me to it, man, and be glad you did not see me in my prime. Okay. I'll leave you to the blackness. Yeah, good talk, Wounded Dark. going to return the axe. Just... Oh, man, I, 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 I wonder if, the, uh, if that farmer laid a curse upon the axe. Okay, so... Where are we going now? I don't know. Hey, uh, I have no idea where we're going. hey, uh, Otter, what's up? There's a oh, guy over. The, the orc that just came through. This dude is cowering too. Why is everybody cowering around here? Look at this. They're all hiding behind their hands. It's cold, I guess. Because they're getting orked. I guess. <laughs> You'd think. Oh, hang on a second. There's a. Uh, Sorry, I, 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 I've got an ornate catch here. Ooh, scraps of Rohiric text. Cool. Oh, yeah, there are. There are, there are ornate caches around the Yeah. Houses. Lovely. There are ornate caches everywhere, and I'm not high enough level to collect them. Oh, that oh, is such a worst. shame. Um, Look, it says, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so sorry to hear that. If you could point them out to me uh, when you see them, <laughs> I'll commiserate with you about how you can't get them. There were like four or five of them on the other side of the farm there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch. Hey, look, that war rider just kind of cheerfully spawned. He's ignoring all of us. He's just walking around in circles. I, if, if I was going to say, Froring, if I were you, I'd be nervous. Do you see how he was circling you like that? It was like a shark closing in for the kill. Okay, so um, uh, we're looking. I know we're eventually heading to Forlaw, which is up there on the hill. But Well, it, it's he's, they've been on the road more or less so far, so maybe we should follow the road. Yeah, they have. That's true. That's true. Let's see what we can find here. Uh oh, a fork in the road. Uh oh. Probably right. Okay. Probably. Ah, yeah. Well, this is vaguely north. Seems to be headed in the direction of other things. Another fork. Is it this way? Ah, yeah. Almost certainly. I was a blood eye trader. Exactly. If you were a blood eye trader with a, with a stolen axe and a bag of cursed coins. Hmm. This is a trail that looks like a... Oh, it goes up to this fort here? But if I were a blood eye trader, would I go up to that... Just waltz right up to that fort? Like... Oh, sh- well, maybe not, but maybe Bingo will be here. 
Well, if, you, if you took your brooch off to become invisible. That's true. Ah, oh, wait. <laughs> but I think you have to leave it behind on a log. For that rule. Oh, so this is for law. Okay. Wait. How are we even supposed to identify him if he doesn't have his brooch on and he doesn't have an axe anymore? <laughs> I don't. I, I think. I think we can identify him by the curse that will be hanging around him from the cursed coins. Um, oh, I found. I found a. Oh, I believe this is bingo. All, all, all bundled up. In in indoors here. No, this is a stable. No, I just went into a stable. Why is there a stable? This is a barber. I'm in the barber shop. The barber shop has haystacks and horses in it. In fact, all that there is in the barber shop. Oh, it says. In fact, he is saying that it seems that some people saw a man with a red gem go in the barber. How See, I saw a quest ring over here, and this. I guess you have to park your horse at the barber. Oh, here's the barber. So it's a female barber. Okay. I thought it was a horse barber at first. You know, when you come in the door, it's what it kind of suggests. It's a multi-species barber. Right. Yeah, that's very thoughtful. Hello there. Okay, she <laughs> saw the man. All right, good. He was just here getting a, getting a trim and very ill of temper. Okay. He didn't tip well, I guess, the barber. After, that's how she knew he was a vile traitor and cultist. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing the thread. I did back to close reading. I did not like the look of him, and I liked his coins even less. Ah See, she could tell they were cursed. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm seeing. Okay, they seem to me of a sort used by orcs and evil men, and I wanted nothing to do with them, especially once I discerned the hideous curse laid upon them and knew that it would bring destruction down upon my whole family, my my barber shop, and our horses. I thought he would strike me when I refused to modify his appearance. <laughs> Awesome. So he stole a dude's axe and, and and a bag of cursed money from the orc, and then he's like, "Now a haircut." <laughs> if I can, if we've never seen him before, right? <laughs> there isn't anyone who can possibly identify him by sight. We only know him by the trail of destruction he's left behind him. But he's like, "All I need is a haircut, and then I will be invisible." Oh man, this is awesome. Okay, um, so, but but she, the steadfast and upright barber, refused to be take part in these obvious, obviously scurrilous goings on. Uh, so she stalwartly refuses to modify his appearance, and he snarled curses at me and stormed out. I would not repeat those foul words, but one sounded more like a place than an insult. Uh, Kader Golnauk. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. He said, take this name with you if you find it useful and beware of this man you seek. I feel certain he could be very dangerous if pressed into a corner, but apparently he's only just slightly rude if you refuse to cut his hair. Okay. He's a desperate refugee, <laughs> but uh, I refused him a haircut and he left. Oh, that is just, I, that is too good. This is. Greetings, friend. I can't either. I know it seems I have the same problem. Uh, but it. Well, I wonder if there's like maybe somebody else outside. Yeah, no, yeah, it's still asking me to search Wildemore though, so I, I think we're. Uh, I think I think we've still. I think we've still no, advanced. No, it's true. just she still has the ring. I think it's just she's the only <laughs> barber in the history of Lotro who has had a quest ring above her head. So I think it's just kind of gone to her head. You know, she, she refuses yep. to relinquish the quest, yeah, no. quest ring. Yeah, that's true. Just want to get, get rid of it. Yeah, because I mean that's true, right? I mean. Oh, just think of the opportunity. I think how close we were to having Bingo get a haircut. That would have been a real <laughs> relief for everybody. You're gonna love Bingo's outfit. It's very cute. <laughs> that's. Barber lady restyle my beard since you know she was so distraught by that. <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's good. really nice. That's you. good. <laughs> Bingo, that is an awesome hat. Okay. Is that? Yeah. He's and he, oh, and he's got fuzzy mittens. Oh, good. He's got fuzzy mittens 
and a fuzzy hat, uh, and he's still barefoot, and he's somebody's eating his sausages. But some people here saw a man with a red gem visit the barber in town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we found that out. Yeah, we went straight to the barber. Um, yeah, okay, no, we got maybe that's why her quest ring didn't turn off because I hadn't gone to bingo first. To bingo first and oh yeah, no. Oh, hang on, I gotta introduce myself to the stable master. Never know when that's gonna come in handy. We are a strong lot. We will survive. Right, that's good. Well, only if you stay out of the way of poorly barbered men carrying axes. Um, where do we go? Okay. Oh, we just we're just left wandering Wildermore again, eh? Yeah, you know the place that she named the barber. Oh right, yeah, of course. I forgot the the black speech name. Oh yeah, maybe it's is it on our map? I'm hovering over all of the flags on the map currently. I haven't found it yet. There looks like the map has a camp or something just below Rithendale. Rithen, yeah, the, that, yeah, straight to the east it, of us here. Yeah, that seems plausible. I was just thinking the same thing there. It says it's called Fushan Yoram, uh, which I think is different. Than the it is thing. different. That's a, that, that's a different curse word than the one she she said to us. <laughs> yes, pardon my French, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> for Tadar Golnock. That's right. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's... Mm. I don't see I don't see anything on, else on the map that looks like a an unlabeled orc camp. Shall we Kedar split up and Goldnock is by Skyflick. Sky... Yeah. Oh, skill Shilfig or what have skill yeah. Yeah, Shulfig. Shulfig. Oh, yeah. All right, let's head up towards Shulfig. Hey, there are a couple Is there, is there a ring on the map? Uh no. There's a flag though. Or at least I must have been there before, but yeah, there's a flag that has that name on it. Kader and Golf. Okay. Alright. Hey, look, I'm in the lead. I'm not behind <laughs> anymore. Oh, I have to admit, I'm a little worried about trying to make this journey uncomfortable mm -hmm. because I'm like 20 levels under here. Yeah, let's. we should probably all stop and... Yeah, I'm finding these mobs are surprisingly non-aggressive, considering that they're red to me. Well, because you had a level 62 in front of you who kind of didn't realize Ooh. he was drawing aggro. Right. <laughs> oh, there he comes. Hey, somebody just killed my horse. Oh, it's, yeah, that guy. It's that annoying guy. Well, plus we have a... Um... Okay, so these mounted guys are not really not going to stand still for me to kill them, are they? You're going to have to do oh, because they're anti-friendly regardless. Or ranged. Okay. Huh? Yeah, that was seriously they annoying. Can at least attack them. Okay, selected revive for free and somehow ended up back in cliving. Right. Right, because you're because you're under level for the area. I can try to summon you, but yeah, it might tell me I can't do it. Green stand. Yeah, mm. it's not gonna let me do it. Ooh, I forgot about that. Can you? Can, did, did you? Did you uh, get the stable master in Forlock? Could you? Can you ride? Probably under. I, for not doing it. Mm. I, I can probably use a, a coin. I just need to find it because it's uh, not from Cliving. Oh, you can't get to Forlock from Cliving? You can get to to uh, to Harwick from Cliving, though. Yeah, and then probably from... Yeah, but that'd be two coins. Ah, uh, right. And you said you tried to use a horn, and it didn't work. Yeah, it wouldn't be this great out. No! Yeah, so I'll, 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 uh, I'll go play, play Escorts. Okay. Ah, okay, that's good. Up 
Schulfig. 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 Schulfig, which I think means uh, in Anglo-Saxon, that means shelfy, uh, which means it's the place like it's where, when you get a really bad haircut. So it probably is where he went. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Clearly. Oh man. It is possible that haircuts are sort of his way of de-stressing. You know, <laughs> right. To reward himself. For <laughs> <all> <laughs> <his> <laughs> to reward. <laughs> I, 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 I stole an axe. I stole a, I stole a bag of cursed coins. You know, I, I like deserve. I, I deserve to treat myself. Exactly right. <laughs> and, and now it's time for a, 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 a little something just for me. That's probably what he was saying. Exactly. Little spa treatment. Oh, somebody's chasing somebody. Oh, nothing could yeah, be likelier. Being attacked. Oh. <laughs> Who is being oppressed? What was it? Are we good? Yeah. Thomas was a violent person. Oh, there's one too. Oh, get a little. Oh, oh, he wasn't mounted. Oh well. I was like, hey, look, somebody I could fight. Um, okay. <laughs> so is this now? I I can't help but notice there are a mess of orcs around here. This means maybe we're on the right track. Yeah, I think it does actually. So that's. That's Schulfig. Right, so presumably it's not in Schulfig because we're, we're looking for an orc no, camp not. of some kind, right? Yeah, it, I think it's beyond. I think it's where, where uh, Fervenna and Sedge is. kind of like right, right out to the north. Oh, it's to the north of Schulfig. Well, I yeah. found it's Bingo like, in like, Schulfig. Oh, yeah? Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Does he have a, 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 a ring or is he waiting for us? He has a ring and Amateur Sleuth is a title. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, that sounds handy. Let's see. Maybe he'll. Uh, maybe you he can help us out then. All right. Oops. All right. I'd gone he on. He lost his hood and gloves, though. Did he? Uh, how is he surviving without his fuzzy mittens? Is it warmer up here in in Schulvig than it was down in uh, Forlar? Or... Oh well. I was going on foot there for a little while, in, in the hopes of uh, actually engaging in combat, but course as soon as i got off my horse they all ran away i think they were obviously intimidated um okay ah the horn that is the horn is their symbol here where's that there he is my friend the stable master i am afraid of what is happening to these lands don't be afraid we're here to help Okay, so let's see. Where's uh, where's Bingo? Uh, just up to the left, up up this hill. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's got his old hat again. So, oh, and and his he's recovered his sausages. Loose. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, Bingo. Yes. Someone has seen map, our right? man arguing with orcs at a camp to the northwest. Okay. Shouldn't the orcs be his allies? I wonder what the subject of their argument might have been. Oh, yes. This is information, doubtless, you need for your book, Bingo. All right. To the northwest, you say. Into the high knolls, is it? Okay. How goes the, uh, the, the, the escorting? Did you did Greenstand make it back? Oh, he did. There he is. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. No, he just teleported up to us. Oh, good. He did. Uh, Harwick had a had a quick horse straight to. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, excellent. excellent. I All think right. it's, is it up? It's up this way, I think, isn't it? That should be up this path. Oops. These hostile lands. Okay. Ah, here we go. Discovered Kadar Sneering Uruk. We have a sneering Uruk here. Yes, we do. 
I assume he's probably gonna wanna fight us, so we have to wait. Also have an underlevel guardian who's getting his butt kicked. Ah. Where? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Where is he? You okay? Hey! I didn't get to ask him any questions. What questions did we ask him? Is he going to come back? Is he fighting already? Oh, he just okay. attacked Farrah Venon unprovokedly. I, I didn't do anything. For no reason. For no reason. Just, well, it didn't end very well for him. Oh, there we right. And he's back. <laughs> Hang on, where's... This silly bird. Here we go. Okay, snarling Uruk. I saw this man. He tried to buy the loyalty of my boys with a dirt sack of dirty coins, which were obviously cursed, but we refused. We might both serve the blood eye, but if I know our spots were reversed, that maggot would not give us a second look. Let him die on his own in the high knolls. He will have none of our protection. It may be that I will find this his sack of coins and take it from his corpse with no effort on my part. That would be a lark, he says posthumously. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right. Who is? Tristan. Okay. I need. To, I, I. I think I need to actually get this guy. Hold on. Because I don't think I got credit for it. Okay. We still have the ubiquitous quest prompt: search Wildermore for the missing agent of the Blood Eyes. I, I actually for, think you know, now that you could go to the end part. Yeah, in. that's true. I think you can now that you mentioned uh, you could actually bypass all these guys. Pretty sure oh, when I oh but come on. No, no, no. This has been far too entertaining to do that. Instead of, you know, <laughs> slooping my way through. No way. Right. We got to say, does a, this character's a detective anyway? Who, the horse? Oh. No. What? That, that snarling Baruch is attacking me again. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I'm running away. <laughs> Aha! I really have to admire the sneering Uruk's persistence. How many times has he died now? <laughs> yeah, that's I right. Know, really. But and well, yet he, he is died, undeterred. He's just run out of morale. That's right. So he just takes a little break. <laughs> Gets it back really. Quick. <laughs> he does. Really quickly. He he really he really rallies. Uh, you know, very very persistently. Okay. Um. So, so what did the guy say? We he said he was vaguely the into the high knolls somewhere. Yeah. Which is oh, okay. that way. Northerly. Yes, in a vaguely northerly direction. Can we go this way? Somewhat westerly, you say. Can we go up the path? Is there a path? Is the path end? Is everybody okay back there? Good. You know, civilized guardians would stick to the road. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, there is a road up here. There's even a fence. I don't really know where that came from. We have not started at the beginning of the road, but we've discovered a road. Hmm. I think we go further up. Oh, I guess we're going up this way now. Now let's go up. Why not? Wait, why am I leading the way? This is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's better for you to lead than trail. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a gorgeous view. Oh, is that... What? What, what am I looking at? Oh, that's no way. That's oh, that's on the other side of the river. Look at this. Look at who? Oh, what? Whisker. Will Whisker. Well, hang on a second. Yeah. I'm I'm hang on. I'm 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 looking at scenery. We're up in the mountains that we were looking at from from because th that means over here. Or wait, which way am I going? Over over in this direction, straight to the north of us, is gonna be um, what's it called? Sandguard. Right. It is. What's is it, what's the name of this place? The place with the ghosts and the. 
Is that the bridge that it took Bingo like yes. 15 minutes to cross? Yes, this is this is Oz Kellebrand down here. That was the name of it, right? The Haunted City? Yeah, yeah, yeah Oz Kellebrand in the Brownlands over that way. Oh, man, that is awesome. I'm sorry, wait. What, you guys found Willem Whisker, which, though slightly less exciting than Oz Kellebrand from a distance, is still uh, indisputably more relevant. So... <laughs> Peaks of the High Knolls. There we go. Um, I'm accomplishing deeds all over the place, apparently. Well, no, I'm starting deeds all over the place. I've discovered Grimnesburg now three times in a row. That's good. Well, you know, when you get up this way for the epic, you'll be yeah. in good shape. When I discover Grimnesburg, I really discovered Grimnesburg. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Abandoned sacks. Multiple abandoned sacks Willem Whisker has found. Okay. These sacks once contained food, but now they're empty. Willem, why are they empty? He stands by a number of abandoned sacks, but after a cursory sniff, he points his nose to the west. That must be where the cultist of the blood eye went after exhausting the contents of those empty bags. So, being denied his haircut, he climbed all the way up here to the top of the mountains, sat down and ate three full bags worth of food, and then... Some orcs. After trying to bribe some orcs with his cursed treasure and then set off dejectedly down the path to the west with a lynx hot on his heels. Okay. There this. Seems to really be the path to the west that dead ends in like three seconds. I wow. Know. Yeah. So did he jump off this cliff then? It was like the metaphorical path to the west. You well, know? you know, he probably just broke his ankle a little bit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> So is this supposed to kind of parallel Aragorn figuring out what happened to the hobbits or something? <laughs> hey, wait. There's a dead guy. I found a corpse. It's an orc. There's a dead orc. There's several of them around here. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. There's like three in a pile. Isn't that just part of the Wildermore? The scenery. <laughs> it's just part of the scenery. They go in for orc this corpses around old. here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a f it's it's the favorite decoration concept of uh, the the <laughs> folks up here in Wildermore. I see a town over there with what a, there's another town up over there on the next hill, but I see a path but or a road down there. I guess we just jump. Yeah. That's what I did. Is that what you did? Okay. I see fences. Oh, I see down there. Ooh, yeah. Those are my favorite bad guys. Ooh, nice lake. And a frozen waterfall. Oh, that's lovely. By the way, there's a Floyd, Floyd de Winter up here somewhere. Oh, really? Oh, wouldn't be a bit surprised. Yeah. This totally looks like Floyd and DeWitt territory. Yeah, not, yeah. Floyd and DeWitt part, part two. I feel like Sam, you know, I didn't know that Floyd and DeWitt were up here, but if I had known, this is just where I'd have looked for him. <laughs> okay, so we jumped down a cliff onto another path, and I love how the dead wind. Ends at that house. It dead ends at the house. Yeah. Did you? Is there? Is there? A, I love how the snow blows off the. I know. The wind blows the snow off the ground. That's really cool. <laughs> oh my goodness! So realistic. I huh? found, I found a little campsite here. <laughs> There's like a little uh, bear fur and then a small rabbit on the head of the bear enjoying the view. <laughs> I don't know what this means. <laughs> Wait, there's the rabbit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta see it. To I think I've gotta that. see that to believe it. Okay, hang on, I gotta, I gotta mount up. It'll take me forever to get to you. Yeah, okay. All right. My thing has a note on it. It says, the killer rabbit strikes again. This fearsome bunny and his bear hide rug can be found atop the high knolls. No way. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just trying oh, to... Oh, you're going to love this. I'm following your arrows. Where are you guys? Oh, you're close. No, you have to come up. You're, you're, yeah, I'm down. You're up. Okay, I see. There you are. All right, I'm coming. Yeah. 
Look at the bones! <laughs> Obviously, the rabbit has slain the bear. Right. Then skinned his hide. Oh, yeah. Skinned it. Laid it out. Yes. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Um, like, meanwhile, back at the quest, <laughs> dead That's right. end. That's right. Dead end. Quest This is way well, better than. You actually go over around the edge here. If you, if you're careful, you, you don't fall. You can go this way. We can go this way. Yeah. Which S I was discovering. You see? I discovered. Yeah. Oh, there's a cave S here. Steve. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. see, there's a there's a there's a Rohiric lamppost outside it. This is the st the steeping cave here. I'm gonna have to get some of these lampposts from my garden. They're they're lovely. They're very attractive. What do we have here? Women and children? Should we interrogate them? Perhaps they have uh, blood brooches. Or, uh, anyway, there's a forge master. Um, no relic master, annoyingly. That is annoying. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen one without the other. Frith combination? Frithwin, what did you do with the relic mask? The the relic what the relic trader? Is that what it's called? The local town got overrun by orcs <laughs> and they got split up. Oh man, that's awful. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> or suspicious. Are we sure we are we sure we believe this story? Maybe they're blood eyed traitors. <laughs> And they did in, maybe they did in the relic keeper and took his clothes. What do we have to say to that? I don't know what they would do with his clothes, but. Okay. I'm thinking the steeping cave is a dead end here as far as blood eye traders are concerned, since I don't have the stomach to actually interrogate those people. Um, we don't have any leads anymore here, do we? <laughs> You <laughs> were just searching Wildermore. Also, vaguely to the west. I mean, what Wildermore should have told us. But it is not where I am. It is vertically above me. Okay, so if... But if, I went down the road instead of, you know, cross-country randomly. Oh, well, that's... You know, the road that went to the west instead of... Oh, like, right. We need to go to Beer Tour. Beer Tour. Beer Tour. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's southwest of us. Southwest of us. That's the uh, stable. Oh, is that yeah. the stable there? Okay, because uh, what the girl is down that way. The Rohirrim girl. Okay. So we should go down to that settlement then. Yeah. Now let's see. We got. Who do we need to be protecting here? Oh yeah, there are Grims down here. And wild hill goats. Even they might attack uh, uh, Greenstand there, so, you know. Wouldn't that be embarrassing if you got killed by a goat? We wouldn't want to let that happen. I ain't afraid of no goats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being attacked by a snow stalker, but I'm way ahead of everyone. Oh, and a groom is chasing me, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're so calm. Okay. I would say I've got oh I've got Turston with me here. Oh. And I just got killed. Oh bummer. Uh, okay, oh. those I Grims have a, a pretty surprise. long range. So did Froring. Oh hey, man. Hey, I found her. She's right here. I'm, I'm dead. Oh bummer. I can uh I can probably revive you. 
32660 is where I'm at. Thirty-two South sixty-six. Whoa. I clicked revive and it put me back in the twenty-first hall in Moria. <laughs> no, <what? laughs> Oops. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. Well, it's, a, it's danger, dangerous revive. You were revived in an area that's just too dangerous for you. You've been teleported. No. Oh, uh. I'm a farmer. Well, let's see. Uh, how do you get from Moria to Harwick? Um, Who wants an acorn? I don't think Who an wants... acorn will work. You could try. Well, the acorns. I think we're going to get the same, the acorns I think it's the same thing as the. Yeah. They do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do the acorn. Acorns are super cheater. That's how Wiggins is going to get wherever he wants. That's well, right. Well, I thought they worked the same way as rally horns. So, you know, because uh, rally they... horns. Bypass some of that stuff. They do. Yeah. We're okay. about to find out. Okay, revive still sent me back to climbing. No. Oh, I thought was someone not reviving you? No, they they did, and I, I hit accept, and then it went. Oh, it's still. still it says it's selected bad. player does not meet the level requirement of the current location. Oh, we're not just sending you over there. Nope. Oh. But from Quiving go to from Quiving go to Harwick and then from Harwick go to go to go to Schulfig. Can you get to Harwick from Twenty First Hall? Oh, actually, let me check the stable master and see what he has. I think get to Harwick from South Three. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but those are like mineral coins. Or quick travel. You, you should be able to get regular swift travel. But if you had the stable open, but if you're in Quiving, you shouldn't need to go that. I mean, the, so from 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 the from Moria, we're we're we're, we're going to acorn you back, right? But it yeah, wouldn't have it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh man. I can go to Four Law for a, a mineral coin. Four Law is just down the road from us here. Okay, I'll try it. That's pretty Except close. That he's going to general question still is are you guys at something significant for this quest? Yes. We oh, found what's her name? We, we found Eggwulf. Because I found Bingo way back over here and I don't know if he wants... No, I don't think we need Bingo. Or anything. Halfway through? Right. I think she's closer to the... These to checks are clear be. and they do not go into Vi at all. Okay, she says she believes the man we're tracking would give the city a wild berth. For whatever reason, he's not eager to cross paths with orcs or uruks if he can avoid it. The track continues to the west and do not go into the city. Okay, I'm in four now. Okay. So he's heading towards the Bale Wood now. Okay, so we need to go down to four lots. Somebody needs to escort from... Uh, from Forlaw, because he'll never make it up here. That, that direction. Yeah. I think, uh, Good. Who is? I can do it. I have a Mazda in back there. For a return. Oh. Okay, I see Brain Greenstand coming in too. So if you hang on a second, we can get them both. I, I have some animal companions that I'm hoping I can sacrifice to save my own skin. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> That's right. That's how you do it. Okay. Uh, which was working until a bull decided to just charge at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. She's sending us west. So if you guys hang out there with her, she sent us west from there. We'll yeah. Be fine. I'm trying to find the next logical place because we're supposed to start seeing snow piles. I think I found something. <laughs> she found something. Aha! Yes, I found something. Way over, is that your way over there? You're to the west? Uh, so, yes, yes. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. Um, what are these oh, enormous right. What are these enormous I crystals sticking out of the ground? Oh, you'll find out. That's gonna Wouldn't you'll find you out when you when you get to the <laughs> Wouldn't epic. I like to know. the Wildermore epic is really interesting. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Part of it. Alright. Uh -huh. There I found uh, I'm going the wrong way. 
clearly. But I, f- I found a stable master, which is always an interesting find. Okay. What did he say? Bring provisions? That's all he had to contribute to that? Okay. All right. Aha! I see glowing piles of snow. We should wait here for the rest of the people to catch up. Disturbed snow piles. Disturbed, and indeed I would add disturbing snow piles here. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's up there flying her kites. <laughs> Look out. There's a goat. It's got a shifty look in its eyes. That stalker I'm worried about. No problem. Oh, did you just sick your cat on it? I did. Yeah. I also did my Light of the Rising Dawn on him, which I buffed up, buffed up with my imbued weapon. Oh, I see. I wonder what the, the level limit is for the Dangerous Revive, because I think I died once or twice in the last Beagle Night, too, and I was like 15 levels under, and it still let me revive in the same place. Really? Wow. Yeah. Maybe I'm misremembering. We may need to have a kinship power leveling session or two for our next bingo night, before our next bingo night. Well, someone said in kinship, I think that the limit is 20. 20? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It seems a nice round number. Okay. So, uh, let's see, how are you guys doing? (laughs) Tristan says, I'm just sticking with Corey, but he's just standing here. (laughs) Yeah, well, we're kind of waiting. Uh, so, Green Stan and Binkles, you guys are still way down by the entrance to the Norcrofts? Yeah, because Binkles had to go get Green Stan from um, Cliven. Right. Yeah, the bull killed me. Oh, I see. The, right, the bull. Okay. Well, I see. You guys are on the way. That sounds so creepy, Trish. We're waiting for the guys who died to jump. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, well, the cat corpse is still there. Right. Yeah. Corpse of Snowstalker. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking at the bigger map. Well, if they're used in quest or something like that, then they're not going to disappear. Look at this. We're almost at the eaves of Fangorn. Ooh. We're just above the Entwash Vale. This is fantastic. Hey, Helton was escorting, escorting me, in, like leaving me in the dust. Which is the oh, yeah, I'm mind. trying not to. Slow it down. <laughs> I just clear the road. Speed. It's even faster than the, the normal thing. I mean, still, I mean, sixty-eight percent. Okay. Well, war speed, so it's... Ah. Oh yeah. See, here's another one. Yeah, boy, the snow does preserve the corpses for quite some time, doesn't it? It really does. I only need 94 more of those to reach. <laughs> Why do they have the pa- the the markings of jaguars, though? I don't know. It seems not They're really... The cats in, uh, in, in Forkel. Yeah, but they, they don't really seem adapted to the environment up here. Gotta say. Okay. I'm just going to wander around and look at scenery, since I can do that now. Well, there it goes. Uh, just saw a shaft of gold when all about was dark, so I think that must be... Uh, <laughs> Trish. And I think that's also my most obscure Monty Python reference of the evening so far. Okay. <laughs> Um. Uh, what are these? Okay, so I'm trying to find out what I'm looking for. So this is. What was that town that we were just in that the girl told us not to enter? A beer tour. By 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 tour. Okay, so this is Byer tour. Then straight off to the west, 
which makes sense because it's up on a hill. All right, so we've got all these watchtowers over there. All right. And we've got all these random crystals that I don't want to know about yet because I'll find out about them later. That's right. We'll find out about this later. Okay. And then I'm looking... Let's see which direction is. Just don't try licking them because they look pretty cold. Yeah, they sure do. Right. Your tongue will stick to it. Okay. And those... Could be entertaining are... for the rest of us. <laughs> what are those huge spires? down to the south. Uh, can't really tell. Towers or Of course it's dark, so that doesn't help. Um Wow, this is Snowgrim Central. All of a sudden, see you should have left the cat l let the cats live. At least they're better than Gr the Grims. Cats respond into Grimm's, which is not good. Okay, how are you guys doing here? Oh, I'm making some serious progress now. Getting closer. All right, Greenstand and, and Binkles are on their way, right? Coming up the... So is the... Uh, is this... Stable master. Is this officially a tarn, then? This lake that's by Forlorn? Is it technically a tarn? Are we far enough up in the mountains that that would count as a tarn? Okay, where do I go from the stable master? What was the... So, I mean, you guys are off to uh, the west. West. There was one... I, yeah, but I think there was one other thing. I yeah, if you go just north up to the point. intersection of the roads, the girl is... Uh, uh, Eggwulf is standing right outside the uh, entrance yeah, to, to the Bear Tour. that you actually have to click on besides the final Right. To progress the quest. Right. Oh, I see. It's all just, you know, red, commentary. Yeah, red. Whoa! Getting knocked off the cliff by a grim. And a, and what is that? A flock, a flocking spy. AKA a crabine, I guess. Well, that was kind of exciting. Yes, I guess you'll be able to. These disturbing piles of snow that we that we have found here. Um, you would oh. That's right, you cowards. <laughs> you had a goat and two cats chasing you. <laughs> Spy, this is well. <laughs> Here I was minding my own business, just walking down the path, and all of a sudden, you come running up with like an entire menagerie in pursuit. <laughs> it was like it was like a jailbreak at the zoo. <laughs> that was that was really funny. Okay, and here comes Binkles and Green Stand. Very good. All right. So we're just following these disturbed snow piles. That's right. Now I'm going to finally click on the disturbing snow piles. You just follow them, I think, like a breadcrumb trail. Uh oh. The snow is disturbed by someone moving forcefully and carelessly. Okay, maybe he's being overcome at last by the curse of this of the coins. The snow. Uh, uh, he's still c carrying on forcefully, yet carelessly, and more forcefulness and carelessness being evinced by the person who is going in this direction. And once more, this is a definite trend now. So up we come to. Another snow pile. Let me guess. What does this snow pile tell us? Oh, hang on. I was interrupted in the important message of this snow pile. And it is, again, forcefully 
and carelessly. Are we going to find a, a slightly differently disturbed snow pile, which suggests that he's he's still careless, but less forceful now because he's getting tired? No, no. He's he's like the right. I know he is, isn't he? He's. <laughs> I think we're going to find out that Bingo was just walking forcefully. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you head to my docks, you could probably bypass all of this. But if we bypass them, how will we know if he's still going forcefully and carelessly or not? <laughs> know all this important flavor. <laughs> I know. This is exactly. This is local color well, here. Well, I mean, Ming is sitting here sharpening her claws on the guy, so he may be shredded by the time he gets arrived. The, the Lotro developers took the time to put all this in. We should really appreciate it. That's right. <laughs> all of those disturbed snow piles. <laughs> Forcefully and carelessly. Okay, still. Uh, oh, we have found the missing cultist. Wildemore proved his undoing. Well, he was just lucky he didn't stay alive long enough for us to get to him because, boy. Oh. And there he is with his brooch. All he wanted was a haircut, right? <laughs> Doubtless those were his last words. And, and and imagine if he'd gotten a haircut, all of this could have been avoided, right? He would have blended right in and 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 it, the orcs would have given him help and he wouldn't have died of exposure in the hills if only he'd had a haircut. His, um, Let this be a lesson to us all. <laughs> exactly. His, his whole plan was thwarted. His otherwise perfect plan thwarted by the bold barber of Forla. Looks like granddad was right when he said get a haircut. Get a real job. Like, <laughs> going back to the you know, orcs and bringing the axe back to the random farmer. <laughs> oh no, it's right. we, do, we should return the axe. Okay, <laughs> this meant this member of the cult of the blood eye saw his fortunes turn sour in the snowy heights of Wildemore. No way, man. They turned sour way before that. And the cruel sorceries at play in that region proved his undoing. Okay. Um, so what? Turstan can... He's got a guide back to Forlet. Do we have any... He's, Turstan's our only um, hunter, huh? Oh, well, hang on here. We're still, I'm still, I'm still reading the, the, the epic quest text here. Yeah. This man will work no more evils, but the blood eye has others to work its will. Even in death, the cultist reaches for the brooch of the blood eye. Are you sure he wasn't at that moment trying to throw it away and make himself invisible in a final desperate attempt to escape? I think you might be misreading the clues, whoever is telling us this. You wonder if the man believed his actions had been worthwhile in the end. But the only certainty is that he will not be able to tell you the answer. Right. Okay. Kind of a Sam Gamgee introspection there. Yeah, exactly. Very much like that. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he was truly evil at heart. Because, um, see, if he were truly evil at heart, you know, you got to think he... Uh, he wouldn't have just stomped out of the barbers, right? I mean, he would have done something horribly sinister. Um, okay. Why can't we leave uh, the prince in the snow temporarily and then run around? Right. It looks like I do. I want other people to leave footprints. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the footprints. They just don't last long, so we're not moving forcefully and carelessly. Yes. Um... Okay. Right, yeah, exactly. Obviously, we're moving insufficiently, either insufficiently forcefully or insufficiently carelessly, one or the other, possibly both. Okay, so we have to go back to Forlaw now. All right. Now, okay, now I'm ready to go to Forlaw. Now you're ready? Okay, I'm ready. So everybody but Fair Venon and I can get a port back with Tear Stand, so. Oh, yeah? I just need to cue him. Um, okay. Yes. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Jaguar thing attacking us. Jaguar attack. Look, it's gonna kill Kenny. I mean, Greenstand. Um, <laughs> so, oh, here we go. We're traveling. All right. So, can people in the group actually get this travel? The yes. Ooh, I got it. Can the low level people get it? I didn't get a box pop up. Oh, this maybe we shouldn't good. leave you behind then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. I did get one. So <laughs> I 
But yeah, if all if all the high level characters had just vanished and left you alone on that random hill, <laughs> oh, boy, I'd feel bad about that. I really would. Did, did this ever happen to Marion Pippin? <laughs> yeah. They were born and Gimli and Legolas just teleported off. I think it's just what like Aragorn must have been. Uh, just how Aragorn must have been feeling when he told Boromir to go chase after Merry and Pippin. It must have been just like that same kind of feeling. Okay, so here we are in Forlaw, and we just need to go find Bingo? No. Oh, no, it's what's her, what's her face. Oh, Bingo got his hat back. You found him. Splendid work. Thanks, Bingo. Well, we found his, his, his cold and stiffening corpse, anyway. Did you find him? Yes. Your expression seems both satisfied and a little unhappy, and I cannot puzzle out its meaning. Well, it was a little bit melancholy after, after how forcefully and carelessly he had traveled for so long. It was hard to see him come to that meaningless end after he had taken us all that distance and it took us so long to find him and then it seemed vaguely unsatisfied not unsatisfying not to be able to kill him ourselves with our bare hands I think that was the main problem we were having uh, you recount that you're able to discern concerning the cultists final moments I think I think his final moments were chiefly involved in remorse for stealing the axe I think that was probably it and hand Egwilf the blood eye brooch for the haircut <laughs> exactly <laughs> Lamentation over the haircut that was that could have been, and the axe that should not have been, and the coins that he now realizes were a bad idea. You and Bingo did very well to track this man. Oh yes, Bingo was a huge help, I can say, as usual. He came to a sad end, seemingly disavowed by his allies, his supplies gone, his haircut denied him, alone in the snow, there to die, but there is, you know, in the company with, with, with nothing to comfort him but cursed coins and a stolen axe, but there is no sympathy in my heart for him. He chose his path, as must we all. His was with Mordor, and he was paid in full for that choice. I believe this brings the Count of Blood Eye agents at work in Rohan to two, and I ask you and Bingo to keep your eyes open for them. Oh man, we're only halfway done hunting down Blood Eye agents. <laughs> this, this is, oh man, we're gonna die of old age in this search. One of them is without his brooch. Oh right, including the invisible one. Great. Okay, so there are two. There are two, and and one of them is invisible. Uh, so keep your wits about you. Farewell for now. If I see you again, may it be in time of peace for Rohan. Okay. All right, Bingo. What do you have to say for yourself in your darling little hoodie and your fuzzy mittens? What's up with you, Bingo? That's it. The only thing the quest says aloud is, mm, okay. He, he wears a philosophic expression. That blood eye cultist should not have gone off by himself. Ah, right, just like Melkor, just like Saruman, right? See, bingo's on it. I think if he had friends with him, uh, things might not have gone that way for him. What, you mean dying alone of exposure in the wilderness? No, probably not, because he... <laughs> I mean, he could presumably have killed and eaten his companions. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I hear you, Bingo. Uh, okay, the orcs were never his friends. They might be working for the same dark purpose, but they were not friends. It wasn't the cold of Wildermore that got to him. It was the cold in his heart. Oh, that's deep, Bingo. That's seriously deep. Bingo is silent for a moment. Uh, I'm still yeah, silent. I'm combat. still in combat, so that's why I kind of. <laughs> Who's trapped? Or Greenstand, did you not make it? Nope. Oh. Correct. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I noticed Bingo's not too concerned about the absence of half our party. No. <laughs> no. So, yeah, I was like, if only that guy had had friends in the wild, then he, too, could have just abandoned them in the middle of nowhere. And, <laughs> you know, and things would have turned out differently well, for him. His, his friends did kind of abandon him, or at least his potential allies. Exactly. See, that makes us parallel to orcs, which is unsettling. 
Um, okay, uh, glad we solved the mystery, but I'll be gladder still when our adventure takes us back to warmer climes. Bingo is just worried about his extremities. Okay. All right. Oh, we found that dastardly moose that was chasing them halfway across Ulnarors. You're being chased by a moose? A dastardly moose. Oh. Really? Yes. I think it is time to leave this snowy land behind us. Right. Uh, you'll be glad to do so, for it has put quite a chill in my bones. Bingo shivers dramatically and suddenly cries out in surprise. Oh no, Wigand, I just remembered something I was supposed to tell you, but this cold weather drove it completely from my mind. My very thoughts must be frozen after all. You know that unusual man who has been turning up everywhere on this journey of ours? <laughs> The one who ventriloquizes dying orcs, apparently? Yes, Bert Bartleby. That is the very fellow whose accent pops up in the most unlikely places. Well, he asked me to send you to see him about a small matter, but I forgot to pass on the message. You had better go to him at once if it isn't too late. He's just to the south there by the stables. Okay, so that's where we'll be. We'll do that next time. Um, yes, that's level 88. That, that quest is officially purple to me um, right now but uh, doubtless won't be by the time we do Bingo Night again. Okay, let's see. How are we doing here? Oh, there comes the caravan. You guys are very good. So would Boromir's death have been as meaningful if instead of being killed by orcs, he'd just been run over by a random moose? <laughs> well, if he was run over by a moose in the act of saving his companions stranded in the wild, then, you know, it wouldn't have made quite as good a song, but still it would have been worth it. He would have still been a hero, right? That's right. It still would have been a hero. Oh, wow. Look at my, uh, in my pending loot, I've got all these questing items I've never even seen before. Emeralds. Wow. i got to make room for these. I've got so much random stuff in my... I haven't cleaned out Wiggins' inventory in forever. I've got furniture. I've got a tree. There is a tree in my inventory. I don't even know what to do with that. What is that? A soup tasting spoon? When did I get a spoon? Why am I carrying... It's a cosmetic weapon, isn't it? The spoon? I think. Oh, hey, look. I can get rid of those. Oh, so those runes there. Let's see. Let's... Uh those to my belt and clear that space right out. Okay, where's Bingo now? Um, uh, where's the bunch of us are standing next to Bingo up here? Ah, there we go. Thank you. No problem. Oh, piles of Westemnit soil. Look at that. Let's see. What else do I have that I can pitch? What is this? A sturdy frying pan. Well, that's obviously crucial. Tome of the White Squirrel. Oh, yeah. Let me study that thing. And that goes away. Okay. All right. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. All right. Hey, congrats. Ooh, pieces of Westham Net sealed wax. That looks handy. That's scholar stuff. Oh, yeah. Scholar stuff, the like of which Wigan has never seen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So are we going to talk to Bert? Now? Well, I think... You could. You could go talk to Bert. He's just right over there. Well, okay. So I think we sh I should... Well, I should probably stop here. Um, both because it's... Uh, getting late and it's about stopping time and also because uh, I, I want to 
I would like to get this <clears throat> quest unpurple uh, before I start it. But um, uh, well, if you talk to him now, you get a, you'll get a like a teaser for next time. Or not? Or, and, and by the way, he's also here doing his um, barter thing, which is how I picked up Tanglemane. You get Tanglemane, the pony. Yeah, yeah, you can barter for him. So Bert Bartleby will just sell you Bingo's horse? <laughs> that is so rude. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's like, here, Bingo's not looking. I'll sell you his horse. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's what was Bingo said about not being stranded out in the middle of the wilderness because you've got friends? <laughs> right. Holy cow. Yeah. Not only is this mysterious man following him around, he's selling <laughs> He's selling off his own horse. Holy cow. That is so rude. All right. Okay. Um, good. Excellent. Um, so I am uh I am determined to uh uh get Wigan to move Wigan along. Um, as I said earlier today, I'm going to be doing that marathon in a couple of weeks, and I want to get a little bit further before I begin it. Uh, so we'll we'll see how well Wigan can do. I want to get Wigan up to by the time we do the next um, we do the next bingo night. I want to get, I want to have Wigan up to at least 85. So we'll be we'll be in better shape to carry on. Tristan with... has a question before you go. Oh yeah. He wants to know why you have a why you have a seven pointed star on your chest. Ah, well that is because I am wearing the, uh, uh, the, the gray company stuff. So that is an, uh, that, that would be an Arnorian star, right? That's right. Because this is, this is the Ranger apparel, uh, excellent for, uh, sitting next to campfires and in all parts of middle earth and, and leaning up against walls and failing to translate black speech. Um, so, and I dyed it purple, uh, which is the color of Mythgard. I think that this ranger outfit was the first thing I ever successfully dyed myself, um, all by myself without any assistance. So I was very proud of that. Um, but yes, that is why. That is, it is the seven-pointed Arnorian star uh, of the Dunedain. Cool. That's right. Cool. Yeah, Helting just put his on and... My uh, hunter Glordrill has a red, actually crimson dye. Yes, I remember. I, I was inspired by your your crimson dyed <laughs> uh, ranger outfit. I remember thinking that looked cool, and I was like, you know, it would be even cooler, purple. Like yeah, purple. <laughs> a purple ranger. Um, well, Wigan has numerous uh, cosmetic outfits here. Let's see what else does he have. I see. No, I've, I've only got the four. I think, right? There's my scholar outfit. Actually, actually, I have a Shire Plum outfit. I have the farrier robe, Shire Plum. My war, my battle armor. There you go. Somewhere, I think I've still got in my wardrobe or something my um, my orc rags from Isengard. Oh yeah, gotta keep those. Yeah. The white hand on the on the shirt. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Love those. You ever have to go undercover. You're, stand, um, you're standing in the middle of the forest. There you go. I always kind of thought that if you if I took the Isengard rags and dyed them black, that I'd kind of look like the Dread Pirate Roberts. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see. I'm not sure how well that would actually come out. Um, I just thought it was odd that that Sauron let you keep all your stuff and made you have to earn the rags. I know. <laughs> right, well, you know, it's. Oh, all my weapons and everything. Gosh. It was very kind. Uh, I, I thought that that was... Um, uh, you pose him absolutely no threats. Right. He's a powerful sure. wizard. You're just That's something. true. That's true. Plus, you get to speed up if you if you shoot the, that one particular... Oh, I loved that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, doing the... Um, um, doing, uh, what do you call it? the, the, uh, the charge skill with the guardian while you've got the extra boost from that man, you just like chuck along like nobody's business. 
that was cool. I really enjoyed that. All right. Very good. So we'll um, we'll meet here in Forlaw, I guess, is the is the best place to, to meet yeah. for next bingo night. And uh, we should be able to, we only have, a, there's only a, a handful of chapters left, right? Uh, yeah, I, I don't, uh, well, let's see, we still, still have a fair amount to do, I think. Quite a bit. I think we're probably at like 40. Two thirds? Yeah, I don't, because okay. it was a 52 week quest. Right. Yeah. So right. we so probably still have like 12. 30s, early 40s, somewhere on there. Okay. Oh, gosh, then we got pretty like, good go. amount these quests though cool well i mean if more of them have us just randomly casting around rugged wilderness looking for I clues that we don't this is about the only one that's going to take yeah. us a full night to do i think it is one quest. I don't think anymore wandering around like this you know with just this thing it's too bad you know the only thing that was worse than this was that one where we had to find willem whisker somewhere in mirkwood <laughs> Oi, oi. I think that's the set of quest here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right. All right. Very good. Well, thanks. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here this evening. And uh, <clears throat> let's see. What's the next thing? Well, of course, the next thing is exploring the Lord of the Rings on Tuesday. Um, but then the next unusual thing is next Friday. So next Friday night, we're going to do... Our first round of the uh, of the Quest of Erebor chain. So That's right. I'll be streaming that next Friday. And uh, uh, so we'll see if we can finally start to begin some progress on that, the final uh, final stage there. So, cool. Awesome. All right, very good. Um, excellent. Okay, so thanks everybody, and I will say goodbye on the stream here. And thanks everybody for joining us. We had a, a nice little crowd over there on Twitch here this evening tuning in. Okay. So thanks everybody for coming along with us. See you guys later.